I am going to demonstrate how to spin a microhematocrit. Um, hematocrit is the proportion of whole blood that's made up by the red blood cells. You're going to take uh, your tube of anticoagulated blood. Uh, take one of the microcapillary tubes and place it inside the tube holding the tube at an angle so that the blood will travel up the capillary tube by capillary action. It takes a few minutes. It's not necessary to have the blood go all the way up to the top of the tube, but you want it to at least uh, pass the halfway point. Once the blood has reached about the halfway point, before you remove it from the tube, you want to place your index finger on the top of the tube. And then you want to cap the bottom of the tube by inserting it several times into the clay, which will then cap the bottom. We're then going to spin the capillary tube in a micro centrifuge. You first need to remove the top of the centrifuge. Remembering that this is a centrifuge, um, you need to make sure that the slots are balanced with capillary tubes. If you put a capillary tube in one side, you need to make sure to balance it with a capillary tube on the second side. Because the tubes are obviously too small to write your names on, uh, each of the slots are numbered. So remember the number uh, in which you've put your tube. Again, this is a centrifuge that works by centrifugal force. Make sure that when you place the tube in the centrifuge, the capped portion, the closed portion of the tube, is facing outside. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the blood will all shoot out of the tube when it spins. So you place the capillary tube in the slot. You balance it with another tube containing blood. You can fill up all the slots, uh, as many or as few as you want. Make sure that you close the top of the centrifuge, uh, otherwise during spinning all the tubes will break. Close the top of the centrifuge, lock it, and then spin for approximately five minutes. You can use the brake to slow down the centrifuge when it's finished spinning. Unlock and open the centrifuge top when the uh, centrifuge has stopped spinning. Remove the cover. To remove the capillary tube, slide it towards the middle of the centrifuge. Put some pressure on the top and the bottom part will pop up. And you can pull it out. What you can see is the column of blood, but now the bottom portion of the column of blood are just, are, are just packed red blood cells. The top portion is a straw-colored liquid known as plasma.